Hey guys, it's Ross going on the Space Cup today. We're joined by the Sith Trooper because we're going to take a look at the Sith Trooper spread in the Visual Dictionary for the Rise of Skywalker. There's also a separate spread on Sith Jet Troopers, but we will do that separately. So let's see what it says. <clears throat> in its ultimate push towards galactic conquest, the First Order readies an army of elite soldiers who draw inspiration and power from a dark and ancient legacy. Though they bear the name of the revived sect of the dark side, Sith troopers are not imbued with the power of the Force. Instead, their red armour evokes an aura of dread, of spilled blood, of Sith lightsaber blades, and of the Imperial elite of old. These fighting forces have been cultivated in secret, their existence unknown even to most within the First Order. They are the culmination of an elaborate contingency. The contingency, Palpatine's contingency, was to burn everything. This is his other contingency. Meant to ensure the potential perpetual reign of a Sith Empire, returning the galaxy to the glory of a thousand years past. Crimson Warriors. Sith Trooper armour contains consists of a gamma plast composite quadruple layered to a dense, highly impact resistant finish worn over hermetically sealed body glow. Faceted angles on the face and chest plate assist in redirecting glancing blaster hits. Targeting sensors integrated into the helmet gives Sith Troopers an advantage in low light or smoke obscured condition. Their shoulder mounted sensor pod emits active signals that bounce and return, providing accurate environmental data to feed back to a command sensor via encrypted telemetry. And the Dark Arsenal. The Troopers carry heavy STW-48 rifles with miniaturised tech built into space, space efficient frames. Slung beneath each barrel's rifle are quarrel bolt launchers, which borrow and update bowcaster technology for an update for an extra explosive punch. And we see the weapons here. I'll just move this forward slightly. We see the weapons here. So I should just run through what that says. <coughs> Hi, uh, that top one is the Sun Blast, when Sun Blast makes so many weapons in Star Wars. The Sun Blast FWMB 10B Repeating Blaster, that is the very top one there. With a high resolution electroscope, this. Barrel Cooling Shroud, which is the very end bit there. Collapsed Monopod can extend for support, and that's basically the handle. The middle one is the STW-48 Blaster Carbine Mode with the sight housing and mount, this bit here. The stock removed for combat in confined spaces, that is here. And the bottom one is the STW-48 Blaster in Rifle Mode. And you can see the difference, it has the stock on the end there. Mounting strengthened to absorb recoil, which is just the bottom here. T-shaped visor, which you can see on him here, reminiscent of Clone Wars uh, armour. Triad configuration with Lance Corporal in the centre leading two Corporals, and that is that three of them there doing their Charlie's Angels impersonation. Braced firing stance for covering 60 degrees of forward arc. It specifically is pointing to this, but that's like, you know, the knee guard that's in the wrong position above the knee when it should be below. So that's a bit odd. Yes. So Sith Trooper helmets constantly broadcast battlefield data, giving the officers a sweeping overview of combat conditions. Computer models calculate the outcomes of various tactics in compressed time, offering commanders recommendations based on predefined victory conditions. The troopers themselves are spared this information. It is kept at a command level to avoid distracting soldiers in the midst of combat. And just a little bit on this fact file down here. Like standard stormtroopers, Sith troopers are denied individual names and are instead defined by their serial numbers. Trooper squads consist of 10 soldiers, a sergeant leading a trio of three trooper fire teams known as triads. So let's just see what it says on the actual main page. It says there, fanatical loyalty. The Empire spent decades attempting to strip individuality from its soldiers in order to create fervently loyal extensions of the Emperor's will. 
Much trial and error had occurred during the Clone Wars, with Darth Sidious dismayed to discover that genetically engineered soldiers still exhibited disconcerting amounts of free will despite their numerous alterations. Though Sith troopers are not clones, they undergo flash imprinting and loyalty conditioning built upon and advanced beyond Kamin Kaminoan procedures of earlier generations. Little shout out to Kamino there. This makes them far more loyal and machine-like than even the trained from childhood stormtroopers of the First Order. The best of the Sith troopers are elevated to the rank of Sovereign Protector, capital S, capital P, forming a cadre of elite royal guards stationed in the amphitheatre housing the throne of the Sith. And you don't really get a really good look at them, but they're basically the updated version of the royal guards, I expect. So let's just see what it says. I'll bring him closer so we can run through. Angular planes assistant blaster bolt deflection and specifically appointing to the angle planes on the faceplate here. Wireless data antenna is this here, that bit right there. The atmosphere filtration system, where is that? On here. You can't actually see it on this helmet, but on the side, you can see those black dots and also there, that is the filtration system. Shoulder mounted sensor telemetry pod, this right here, right there, you can see it sticking up over his shoulder pauldron. Anis anisotropic bands increase surface area for radiating excess energy from impact and that is the lines that you can see on his pauldron if I can get it angled properly so you can see them or is it the other one yes the lines you can kind of make out on here it's a little bit rigid it's not quite show very well in this lighting but on here Corrugated body glove with internal atmosphere. That is obviously just the black parts that you can see. Articulated magnetomic plates permit greater range of movement. And that's talking to the chest plate here. Especially this part here where you can see lines there. Rifle power cell cartridge. I'll just show you that on here because I'm not faffing around with the actual weapon. On the figure. Forearm data storage module with access port. Which one is that? It's on here, his gauntlet here. Quad folded gamma plast armor, and that is just the other arm basically, just talking about the armor specifically there. Power cell ammunition, and that is on his belt, so it's these. Oh, I dropped his gun. And now he's going to fall over. Nope. Pump primed quarrel bolt launcher. Is it the right weapon that fell off? No, it's not. But that is basically this. Detonite explosive charge. This. He's still going to fall over, standing. And that's about all that it says on there. But Sith Trooper units, this is fascinating. Sith Troopers are organised into legions using the ancient definition of 5,000 soldiers. So there are groups of 5,000 Sith Troopers. These are numerically identified, but also given the name of an ancient Sith Lord. As this history was hidden from the rest of the galaxy... Only the Sith Eternal Cultists know the, exist the significance of these names. And there are six notable legions named after ancient Sith Lords being made canon. The third legion is the Revan Legion, and we have the Darth Revan figure here as well. The fifth legion is the Andedu Legion. The 17th is the Tanis Legion. The 26th is the Tenebrous Legion. I think that was Darth Plagueis' master, but I'm not sure. The 39th is the Phobos Legion, and the 44th is the Desolus Legion. And I've heard of most of these names in various parts of the old canon, or even in the new one, but it's great they're all being made 
canon now, those ancient Sith Lords, they now exist. <laughs> so the particular subject here that they're talking about is ST14199. His homeworld is Exegol and he's human. Affiliation, Sith Eternal, he's only 22. You're not going to get any older. And his height is 1.8 metres. So fascinating on the Sith Troopers. Like I said, there is a separate spread on the Jet Trooper, but we will do that separately. But for now, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. It's a great design. They're not in it that much. I'm sure we'll see loads more of them in the books and the comics in due course. But for now, I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment or suggestion for a common topic you'd like to see discussed or like the video.